name is Haney and welcome to my violin beginner class. In this video, I'll teach you how to finger basic notes on the violin. Before we continue, make sure that you have checked out my last video on playing the violin where you'll learn the correct way to bow. First, make sure that you have don't fret stickers pasted on your violin fingerboard. They will serve as markings for where your fingers should be placed to play the different notes on the violin. They are super cheap, they cost around $5 to $10 on Amazon, so make sure you purchase them as the right size of your violin. Eventually, as your finger's muscle memory develops, you'll start to not need these stickers, but for now, make sure that they are pasted on your violin. Since we already know how to hold our violin and our bow, we are going to talk about the position of our left hand. Um, my neighbor's lawnmower is on, so if you hear that, sorry about that, but hope you guys can hear me. Uh, we're going to place our thumb, our left hand's thumb, on the neck of our violin, like this. So as you can see, it's sort of dangling off the violin neck. And the side of our index finger is touching the side of the violin neck, like this. And our thumb shouldn't be too up like that because then our palm will end up touching the violin fingerboard, which is the incorrect position. So make sure you hold it like this and your thumb is loose. Next, your arm should be straight and your wrist shouldn't be too out or too in. You can check the mirror to see if your arm is straight. Lastly, your fingers should be bent like this. So that there's like a line at the top. And if you bend your fingers this way, then only your fingertips will end up touching the strings. If you bend your finger like this and you hold the violin like that, then the note will not be as accurate. So make sure your fingertips are touching the violin. And you'll find that when you play this instrument, you'll need to cut your fingernails more often because you don't want your nails to damage your strings. So recap, make sure your thumb is on the side of the violin neck, your arm is straight, and your fingers are bent so that only the fingertips are touching the violin strings. Now we are going to place our fingers on the don't fret stickers on the violin, and I'll demonstrate using my sister's half-size violin because it's the only violin in our house that has these stickers on. So... We're going to start with our index finger. It's going to bend and go on the first colored line. And then we're going to bend our middle finger to go on the second colored line. And then our ring finger or our third finger to go on the third colored line. We're not going to learn where to place our pinky yet because um, it is the weakest finger, so just for now, we want to get used to placing our first, second, and our third finger. Well, we want to loosen our hands and try gripping again. Index finger, middle finger, and ring finger. Now we are going to do exercises that will train our fingers. For this video, we will only do exercises for the A and the E string. But later on, I will post a video for exercises on the G and the D string. So make sure you guys check that out so you can practice. So we are going to start on the A string and we're going to bend our index finger. And it's going to go on the first color line of your don't fret. And it will produce this sound. And that is note B. So A is open string. B. Let's try this exercise so that we can train our index finger. Ready? One, two, ready, go. to go on the second colored line of your stickers and it will produce this sound. So that is C sharp. So A, B, C sharp. Let's 
for playing this exercise. Ready? One, two, ready, go. which is going to be held by, down by a ring finger. It's going to bend and go on our third color line with, and it's going to produce this sound. And that is note D, so A, B, C sharp, and D. So let's try playing this exercise to train our ring finger. Ready, one, two, ready, go. exercises we are going to go from one note to another. So in this exercise we are going to go from note B to C sharp. Let's start playing this exercise. Ready? One, two, ready, go. We are going to go from note C sharp to D. So let's start playing it. Ready? One, two, ready, go. this last exercise on the A sheet, we are going to go up from A to B, C sharp, and D, and then we are going to go back down. So let's start playing it with the metronome. Ready? One, two, ready, go. exercises on the E string. So as always we're going to start with our index finger bent on the first colored line and it's going to produce this sound and that is F sharp. So E, F sharp. So let's try playing this exercise. It's the same rhythm as the exercises before. Ready? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, go. Nice job. Now we are going to bend our middle finger to go on the second colored line and that will be G sharp. to learn, we're going to 
bend our ring finger to go on the third colored line and it will produce this sound and that is A so E F sharp C sharp and then A let's try playing this exercise ready one two ready go Now in these next exercises, we are going to transition from one note to another. In this exercise, we are going to go from F sharp to G sharp. Remember, it's the same rhythm, so let's try playing this. Ready? One, two, ready, go. We're going to go from G sharp to A. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Nice job. Now in this last exercise, we are going to go up from E, F sharp, C sharp, A, and then we are going to go back down. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Thank you so much for watching my video and following through all the exercises with me today. My sister made me wear this headband and oh, I guess I have to wear it because she's with my manager right now. But uh, make sure to check out my other video for exercises on the G and the D string. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and thank you so much. See you next time. Bye. Uh, however, we're not going to learn where to place our pinky yet. <laughs>